How's everyone doing today? Welcome back to Rick's Gadgets. Uh, got a little project here. Uh, I was sitting here the other day and I was looking at this Raspberry Pi sitting here on my desk. Uh, kind of wondering what kind of little project I could do with it and Home Seer. And what I decided to do, this is just one that I kind of run a little webcam with and just sits up here on the desk and got to thinking could it be interfaced in with home seer and what kind of little projects i could do and then what i decided on to to come up with was uh, running an mqtt service uh, this is just kind of a brokerage service that you can talk to small devices around the house and uh, relay publish and um, sub commands back and forth to each other and what i used uh with this is i installed a uh, mqtt server on the the raspberry pi and uh, i have a my first device was a little wemos uh, device with a temperature sensor on it and this is the wemos device it's just got it kind of temporarily set up here on a breadboard and uh I have this configured to uh, with the MQTT service on it and what I thought about doing was taking this project I might split it up into two separate ones because it's probably going to be a little long and detailed and kind of show you uh, steps of how to get uh, these integrated in with HomeSeer. Uh, the nice thing is Raspberry Pis are fairly expensive I mean twenty dollars thirty dollars depending on the models you get these Wemos boards, you know, those are under ten dollars, and a couple dollars for a thermos, uh, the temperature sensor. You could have temp temperature sensors in every room of the house reporting into HomeSeer. And uh, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on the initial setup today of the Raspberry Pi and what you need to get installed. So, in this tutorial, I'm not going to focus much on the actual setting up a Raspberry Pi and installing the software. Um, I will provide you some links below uh, for some steps about installing. Like I installed Raspbian on my uh, Raspberry Pi. Um, but anyway, I wanted to kind of go over. I mean, I'm using the Raspberry Pi 3B, which comes with the Wi-Fi adapter, which makes it nice because once you get it all configured, you know, for $38, you can have, you know, truly wireless. Just plug it in and put it anywhere within the house. And uh, it, it's good for control. You can also use the new Raspberry Pi Zero, which is a lot smaller, a little bit cheaper. You can even go down to some of the, uh, like the version one or two, but then you would have to have Wi-Fi adapters. So there's, there's various uh, ways you can do um, or use your the Raspberry Pi, but just if you got the Raspberry Pi um, The easiest way is once you get one um, I will link and this is just one of the tor tutorials. I found there's Countless videos out there on how to install Raspberry Pi. This one's without a monitor or keyboard uh, Just depending on your comfort level. It's easier if you have a keyboard and mouse and a monitor you can plug into it when you do the installation uh, if you don't, you can do it without that. I've done it uh, numerous times. Uh, you know, just plug it in, and once you connect and get the Raspbian installed, you uh, use a client to connect to it. Um, and for those not familiar with uh, Raspberry Pi, it does run on like a Linux-based uh, uh, system uh, to connect to it uh, because you don't have a monitor connected to it. Uh, I recommend using a, a tool called Putty. Uh, I'll show it here in just a little bit uh, how I connect to mine and you know the steps to, to run commands from a command line interface. Um, and this will this this tutorial here I'll have a link below. It'll show you how to do the install of the software. The next component to get it on the system is you have to install a client called uh, Mosquito for the MQTT broker. Uh, and what this is, is it's a package that will be installed. And I really like this guy's uh, tutorial on it. He goes through all the steps and he even lists all the commands. So really when you go to do the install, you just copy and paste this 
into the putty command line and it's very straightforward um, and it goes to showing you how you can change the passwords and everything so the second component after your Raspberry Pi getting that up and running you're gonna have to install what we call a mosquito MQTT broker and once you get that up and running then we can run some tests and I will show you here um, how you can connect so you open up your putty client and if you've installed Raspbian and you have not changed the password the login is always pi and the password is raspberry but I do recommend you changing it when you type the password in obviously you won't see anything and we come up and we are now connected to the Raspberry Pi and what I want to do is show you a kind of a little bit how MQTT works and what I'm gonna do is I need to bring up one more instance of putty and we're gonna carry on a conversation now this is on the same machine but just think of it as having two virtual machines on one and what we're gonna do is make one of these a sub you're gonna subs uh, subscribe to the client or the folder and the other one is we're gonna publish to it so everything we publish anything on this side which would be the subscription side we'll see it and what I'm gonna do here is I've got the things pasted cop just to copy and paste so you paste this in and what it's doing is you're you're saying I'm gonna subscribe to the mosquito client with a username here and a password and this is your folder and you can have this renamed like mine I have home seer slash kitchen so if you have multiple devices in your kitchen you can have uh, your bedroom you can name these so when we get into home seer I'll show you a little bit later on you can distinguish between the various rooms or areas you know depending on how you want to control your devices so once we enter this it's going to go into a subscribe mode and it sits there and waits until it sees a published uh, command on the network and for example uh, I have a uh, Wemos with a relay switch and I can control by home seer sending a command to that this folder like dev test and have it send a one and it will turn the relay on which will turn the lights on or I can send it a zero which would then turn the relay off turn the lights off and that's one way that you can send commands to other devices that aren't made to really interface directly with home seer so the Raspberry Pi is acting as the go-between running this uh, MQTT server and allowing them to talk to other devices. And there's a lot of devices now being added through this brokerage system. And it just allows the, these smaller, cheaper components that you can use and automate around the house. And I am eventually going to start adding more temperature sensors uh, just to, so I know if I have a colder room, uh, you know, adjust events and kind of keep track of more of the, the my home temperature on a room by room level. So now I've subscribed and let me go and now we will go and we're going to publish something. And so we're going to take that and we're going to publish. So what this is saying is mosquito publish username password again to dev test and we're going to say hello world and as you can see hello world came up over there now let's go back to my example I said while ago of sending zero and one we could send a zero and you can see the zero show up same thing we can go back and do a one. So this is how you set up your MQTT broker. Um, 
like I said, I didn't want to go into much detail on the installation of Raspbian on your Raspberry Pi or the Mosquito server because there are a lot of tutorials out there and I just didn't want to have to, to go through a whole tutorial when there's some out there. But I want to focus on how we get this into Homeseer. And uh, for example is here I do have my weather sensor, our temperature sensor. And today what I'm going to show you is basically how I set up the plug-in. And on a separate video I'm going to show you how I take the Wemos and code it to talk to the to that MQTT broker on the Raspberry Pi and get your values to show on, on Homeseer. So today I'm just focusing on the, the setup of your Raspberry Pi and getting the, the plugin installed for Homeseer. So when you go to the manage plugins, you're going to go to additional interfaces. And the one I am using is under the lighting and primary technology. And I am using the MCS MQTT plugin. And what you'll do is you will just click the button and it will then come up and you can do uh, install. So once you get that installed, um, as you can see, I have it here, it's running. Um, you're going to go to your plugins and you're going to go to your MCS MQTT setup. And it's going to bring you up to the page here. The first page you want to go to is the general page. And on here, um, you really don't need to mess with much of the management system here. If you just want to, you know, do your backups or how much history you want to retain, you can check that here. The biggest part of the setup is on the broker options. And what you'll have to do is have to you'll have to know your IP address and you should know that from after you installed the Raspbian uh, onto your Raspberry Pi and you've used Putty to connect to it to do your updates and install the Mosquito Broker. Um, you should have this. And these settings are the same ones that the, uh, you would have set up when you did the, the install of the Mosquito client. Because what it's going to do is it's going to say the port which was defined in the install, your security is none, and then just your username and your password. And those were everything that you would define on the installation of the broker. And once you get this set up, um, that's, that is it for this page. What you're going to do is we're going to go back now to the associations and here is where you can see what values are coming in. And as you can see down here at the bottom, my last thing under dev test was the one that I sent. So just for to kind of show you what we're doing here. Let's send in home seer. We're going to hit enter. And as you can see right here at the bottom, it's now seeing home seer. Now you can do the same thing is this can now broadcast a signal back out. And what I'll do is I'll show you in the next video how to take this information and create devices and use them on your home seer system. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. It is getting a little more technical in nature than things I've done in the past. Uh, if you do have questions or anything on the Raspberry Pi setup, you know, give me a comment. Uh, I will help you out, kind of point you in directions or give you some pointers. Uh, like I said, you can search around on the internet and find a lot about setting up Raspberry Pi and you can about the MQTT. Uh, my biggest thing was once I had that set up was getting the uh, the plugin installed and get it configured right. I, I had a few little hiccups before, couldn't get it to work right um, and creating the devices uh, is, the, is the next step. Um, but uh, I wanted to kind of 
give you a brief rundown and how to get it set up on the system here with Home Zero. So in my next video, uh, I'm going to cover uh, adding that Wemos device or a switch and showing you how I code that and had it configured and, and now talking to Home Seer so now you can see those values. I appreciate you stopping by and checking out my videos. And if you like it, please hit the thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell to get notifications when I publish new content. Thank you and you have a great day.